Hello, in this video we are going to go over how to make a scanned PDF file more accessible using Adobe Acrobat. First, I need to add the disclaimer that scanned PDF files can rarely be made completely accessible due to limitations with scanning technology. However, you probably have had scanned PDF files that look like this, with black bars at the top, pages showing on the right, and that are slightly crooked or have some text that's harder to read than others. There are a few steps that you can take to remedy these issues and make it more readable and somewhat more accessible for your students. First, go to the Tools tab and then go to Enhance Scans. This opens up some tool buttons along the top. The first thing you want to do is click Recognize Text and then choose In This File. Then click Recognize Text. This will run through all of the pages of your document and recognize the actual letters and sentences that appear on each page so that they are readable by a screen reader. This process is far from perfect and often results in text that isn't properly recognized. For example, as you can see here, there's some information at the top line of this paragraph. I'm going to copy a few lines and paste them into Microsoft Word so that you can see what was actually recognized. So, here you can see Inventive came through as BZVentive, and a few other letters and characters were translated incorrectly. Now this is an example of a somewhat decent scan with high resolution. If you notice that in your PDF the letters are even harder to read, or fuzzy, or extra bold, it makes it even harder for the software to recognize it. So it's important to understand that although we are making some improvements here, the recognizing of text still is imperfect for someone who's using a screen reader to have the text read to them. Now that we've recognized the text, let's go ahead and crop this page so that we don't have all the extra stuff around the edges. To do this, click the cropping button on the toolbar at the top. It's the little document with the cropping tool on it. Once you click the button, your mouse arrow turns into a crosshair Use this crosshair to mark out the part of this page that is actual text and information you want your students to read. The idea is to hold down the mouse button and make a box around the important information. Once you've made the box, just click Enter and then Enter again on your keyboard and it will crop away all of the extra information around the edges so that you can focus on what you actually see on the page. You have to repeat this process on every page to ensure that each one is cropped correctly because each one may be a slightly different size. Again, I'm making a box around the information that's actually important, and then I just click Enter twice, and it crops. Now that we have resolved some of the scanning issues, the next step is to run the Accessibility Checker. To do this, go to Tools, scroll all the way down, and then click Accessibility. On the right side, the first thing to do is click on Full Check, and then click Start Checking. Now, over on the left, it's going to highlight some accessibility issues. Click on Document, and the first ones to start with are Title, Primary Language, and Tagged PDF. To set a title for the document, right-click on Title Failed, click Fix, and then uncheck Leave As Is and enter in a title for the document. Click OK, and that will fix that issue. Right-click on Primary Language, choose Fix, and then click OK if it's English. Right click on Tagged PDF and choose Fix, and that will fix a bunch of things on its own. Close Document and then see if anything else pops up. Here we can see Alternative Text is an issue, so if I click on that and right click on Figures, Alternative Text and do Fix, it's going to jump to an image that needs description. The purpose of Alt Text is to offer a text description of something for someone who visually would not be able to see it. This information is read to someone who's navigating and reading a document with a screen reader. So here we can see it wants me to describe this graphic. First, I'll enter in what the graphic is. Now on subsequent lines, since this is a bar graph, I'm just going to enter in the data. Once I've typed out all of the data, I can click Save and Close. I'd also like to point out the decorative figure option. If this were a logo or a stock image that wasn't important and didn't have important information, I could just check this image as a decorative figure and then I wouldn't have to enter in any alt text. Checking that indicates to the screen reader that there's nothing important here and the student doesn't need anything from it. Since this is a bar graph with important information, I've typed out the data here as text and I'll click save and close to fix that issue. If there were any other images that needed alt text, they would still show up here. But since that was the only one that needed to be addressed, I can now see a green check mark indicating that they're all set. Lastly, it looks like there's also some issues with headings. PDFs can do somewhat strange things thinking something's a heading that really isn't. 
The way to fix this is to open up the appropriate nesting button here and then use the reading order button on the right side under the accessibility tool to open up the reading order panel. Here you want to make sure that it shows things as structure types under show page content groups and you're now able to see your document as chunks. So here it shows multiple generations at work. That's really the title or the number one header in this document. So I'm going to click on it and then mark it as heading one. That changes it from a P for paragraph to H1 for heading one. I'm going to do the same thing down here and mark that header as heading two since it's a subsection of the multiple generations at work document. Under the appropriate nesting failed, it shows some stuff that it detected as headers that it thinks could be. When I click on element one, it's telling me on this page, it's this bit of text here at the top. Since I know that's not a header, I'm just going to click on it and mark it as text slash paragraph so that it knows that's not a header and it can be treated as regular text. If I right click on appropriate nesting and do check again, it lets me know there's something else. So I click on element one again, find whatever it is, mark it as paragraph, and you repeat that until everything that it thinks is a header is either marked as a header, like that is, or it's marked as paragraph. Once you've got everything marked, the little green check will come up and you'll know that headings is okay and you can close the reading pane. The goal here is to have all of these clear with no issues. However, under document, the logical reading order and color contrast options will always show up with a blue circle and a question mark since they are automatically fixable. It's just something you need to think about as you go through your document, making sure anything is readable, has high contrast, and that it's laid out in an orderly fashion from top to bottom, red left to right. This concludes our tutorial on enhancing scanned PDF documents.